Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your puzzled host, Anon <laughs> Jr. This was not where I intended to start up, especially not with uh, this little life and this little health. But my connection to the server has been a little weird. Uh, I noticed that yesterday, too, so I was trying to fly somewhere else. And I literally uh, dropped out of the sky. Like, not, not where... Not like what we had before where you halt and then you got time to hit another rocket and fly. I mean, just flat out and out dropped out of the sky. And, uh, yeah. I landed with a, a singular heart. Uh, <clears throat> and, of course, since I'm starting the stream, it is about to be nighttime. Because no matter how hard I try, that just never works out. Uh, by the by, tree farm, still working amazing. Almost. Uh, there we go. The tree farm is working amazing. The blast chamber is not. There's still some sort of really weird timing problem that... For the life of me, I cannot figure out. Um, something is not firing right. And this last piston keeps pushing down. And that guy right there uh, is not pushing across when it should. So this ends up getting stacked to the point that it can no longer be pushed down, which backs up a whole bunch of other stuff and yada, yada, yada. Bad things happen. Also, this guy keeps pushing uh, a log or whatever into the middle where there shouldn't be one. And I haven't quite figured out what's up with that either. So... I keep poking around trying to figure out if I can you know, find the timer that's off and, and, and fix it. Uh, but usually what's been happening is whenever I've had the time, I, I've had other things that really, really need to happen. And this is, this is one of those things that I'm going to have to like fire up the video on my other monitor and do a lot of alt-tabbing. Uh, what I may end up doing is just clearing all the logs that are currently sitting there in the queue and then see if I can reset this machine back to uh, back to its original starting like like the ground one I hope I'm not going to find out that it's that glowstone there. I, I just, I needed something to keep things from spawning in this area. And I cannot shake the, the, the notion that that is really the source of my problems. I'm going to be really mad if that's all it is. Although, I don't remember if it worked right before anyway. Uh, so that, yeah. Six and one half dozen the other. Uh, I'll have to find something that I can put over that. Although, no, because glowstone, glowstone is transparent to power. He says hesitantly. Oh, well. Let me pull these out just on the off chance that that is what is wrong. I will, I'll still go back to the video. I'll reset all of that. Um, I may also strip out all the lights and things that I did for mob proofing and find some other option. Uh, I don't really, I don't know. I just, I don't want a creeper or something spawning up there while I'm in the middle of a project causing, causing problems. Um, and I do wonder if if I didn't make my own problem unknowingly. I, I put glowstone in places that uh, looked like it shouldn't be a problem. Maybe maybe I'll go use lanterns instead. Um, 
because lanterns definitely don't interact with redstone. You can't power a lantern or not power a lantern. It doesn't it doesn't mess with any of the stuff that you would think it you know, that hang on. This is coffee craft. Let me sip my coffee real quick. Okay. Let's try that one again. Um I just, I can't see where glowstone will be causing the problem because you can't pass a signal through it. Or can you? Did I? Hi, friend. I am so tired of you guys. I have been over here working on stuff. And what have you been doing? Coming by. Like the, that really annoying HOA. start finding new places to hang banners. There we go. I'm sure I'll have a twin fort before the day is out. And that is why there's a cow just outside this farm. This seems to be a spot where pillager patrols love to spawn. Over there. Over this way a little bit. And back on that side. Those three spots they absolutely love to spawn. Uh, I, I need to figure out what it is I need to do to kind of push those guys back a little bit more. Anyway, so blast chambers, uh, a, an ongoing project. I haven't forgotten about it. I just, it, it's, yeah, like those guys shouldn't have been pushed down as much as they have. They should have been moved over. So... There's, there's a whole bunch not moving like it should. Oh, okay. Not here. Not here. Oh, hi, friend. I'll come back to this in just a second. Um, <clears throat> I hear a medic coming. Uh, if you remember from last week, I had a basalt generator over here. And I was going to figure out how to get it to push up and over and into the block feed over to the blast chamber. Um... After many, many attempts and <laughs> putting that massive waterway under there, uh, after many, many attempts, it, it it was more trouble than it was worth because I kept bumping into other bits of redstone. So like the redstone for moving the blocks down, I, I couldn't get it up high enough because the contraption needed to move blocks up was just too big to fit in the space allotted. I could have moved the farm back and moved it up and over, but there's no easy way to move blocks back down into there. Um, unless, and I don't, I don't know why I didn't think of this, unless I built the farm up in the air above that. Uh, I might do that with the cobble farm. Yeah, I might do that with the cobble farm. So what I ended up doing is I ended up moving the basalt generator down here. So we got a nice little platform where if you want to, you can hit the button. It dispenses the lava to this square over here. The lava falls, and when it drops down between the blue ice and the soul sand, it'll create a basalt block, which will then complete this signal chain into this pulse generator, which will then power that piston, which happens to be behind the ice, yay compactness, and it'll move the basalt out, and then retract. And when it does, the next one comes down, etc, etc, rinse, repeat. Uh, the way this is set up, I've got that bit of obsidian there, so that way you could turn it on and just mine, and just sit here with the mouse button held down. That hopper will collect it, and it will go out into this waterway, which is part of the one that I built last week. So instead of coming from down here and around and so forth, I just gave it a quick little L there. And uh, this feeds into the mainstream that goes over to the big storage system at the end of the hall. Uh, which I do need to expand out just a smidge. Uh, but more on that later. And the other nice thing is if you just push the button and let it go... The basalt will push into that side there. And it will eventually make its way into that. 
block stream and get pushed up and up. You can also put the cobble generator under oops, underground here too. Hmm. I'll think about that. Because I, I do want to eventually put a cobblestone generator and do basically the same idea. Set up a, a little push button, get your get your thing, and then go. I, I may also set it up so that way it technically generates smooth stone instead of cobble. And then you can use a, f a silk touch pick if you want smooth and a fortune pick or a non-silk touch pick if you want cobble. And then run that in on that side instead of up in the sky. I kind of like that idea because uh, once once I get this enclosed the way it needs to be, you could safely stay down here and AFK click or just AFK once I get the blast chamber working. Uh, I still need to put a door here. The only reason why I haven't is because I've got that button there, which is another way to turn on the basalt generator. So that button, the button directly on the dispenser. That will turn on and off the basalt generator. And this button here will also turn the basalt generator on and off. Um, sorry. Somebody's calling me about my car warranty. They would like me to know that it's about to expire. smooth stone yeah oh uh yeah so i i would like a, a nice place to sit afk and let it run for a while uh the nice thing about uh the blast chamber is you don't have to worry um about how high you are when you're afk so like the the mob farm and the sugarcane farm uh we got the afk spot up there because that is optimal for getting the the best rates out of the farms that we have in that glorious tower of amazingness um <coughs> this one it doesn't matter so much uh i've got the interior so anyway oh yeah so if i put a door here i want to make sure that uh you can tell which button's which <laughs> and that you don't accidentally turn the machine on uh trying to open the door i'd put a wooden door but zombies can knock those down uh, I'd put it in backwards and do that trick, but every time you turn the machine on and off, it would set the door the wrong way and not stop them from walking through. Um, yeah, decisions in life. So while I ponder those imponderables, I'm going to continue this uh, stone foundation at least one more frame around. I think I'm going to do this at each of the corners. So I'll probably end up ripping this corner up and do that black stone bit there. I left it there because math is hard and I got the numbers wrong. Uh, do the same on that corner and that corner and so on and so forth. Uh, I wouldn't mind putting just a smidge of black stone in there for color differentiation. And it was the only way I could get a tower up around these doors to seal in the top. That didn't look absolutely horrible and blah. And blend in in a very bad way. Uh, what I'm gonna do above that stone wall, I do not yet know. So, uh, open to suggestions on that one. I just need to build this uh, f three, three to four blocks higher than that part up there. I don't know if I'm just gonna give it a boxy industrial roof, you know, something kind of like uh, the smelting station. Um, I, I'm not going to do a, a peaked roof like the incomplete chapel because apparently I struggle at completing peaked roofs. Not apparently. I struggle at completing peaked roofs. So, I don't know. Hi, Medic. How are you How's doing? It going? It's going. That's good. What uh? What are you up to today? 
Same thing you're up to every day. Yep, planning on taking over take over the world. <laughs> oh, did you did you change your mic? Mic? No. A lot. Okay. You sound a little quiet. I've been getting that a lot lately. And I'm not quite sure what the difference is. Got any uh, projects you're looking to finish before the end of the season? Which uh, we are going to have to revise plans on. I just I don't know what, and I'm not sure exactly when we're going to meet to describe or to describe to uh, try to figure it out. Yeah, I'm working on the uh, the food farm right now. The food farm. Mm-hmm. Which, uh, which food farm are you working on? The one underneath the, uh, water cooler. <laughs> the water cooler? Well, that's what Reyes has dubbed it, so. Ah. Uh. Oh. Yeah, I guess that has been, uh, another one of those, uh, Oh yeah, totally get to that type projects. Are you going to build a larger scale farm or are you just going to build a couple more of these guys here? I want to do four of these. Ground floor. See what that gives us as far as growing space. And then uh, build upwards if I need to for more. Okay, cool. We got the village people, and we know how to make more. We got the carrots rolling in. Slowly, but they're there. But so you've already started one with carrots? Yeah, he's in the little box up in the corner there. That's what that is. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't know that's what you were doing. Yeah, I was trying for a more compact farm to see if that was going to give us uh, better rates. So, there, there is a guy in there uh, that's for overflow. Well, I thought it was going to go a little bit quicker than it has been. <laughs> uh, he's not that quick. He is if you put bone meal in the two dispensers on the side. Mm -hmm. So, if we could get a, uh, a reliable enough source of bone meal in there constantly then we could have that backed up and uh really kick him butt wait let, let me go uh let me go grab some bone meal to stuff in the dispenser real quick and uh then you can see the difference in uh how quickly it runs of course it's going to wait until he harvests the first uh the first go around I, I swear that made sense. I maybe I just need another cup of coffee. Could always use another cup of coffee. Yeah, sure. That'll be enough. How are you doing? <laughs> That'll never not tickle me. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, I, I know Arcadius is in the rumor requirement. Alright, I'm going to move all the carrots that were already in there to the bottom row so it'll fill in starting at the top. And then okay. mark a, a timer or whatever from, uh, from now. And I'll let me fill this up with a... Uh, 
you have the composter up underneath one of these um uh, uh hmm? I have two pieces of tilled earth underneath both of those these two uh hoppers there's a composter in there, but it is not over those. All the composters you see that are over hoppers are there to reduce lag. Okay, so what is he putting the carrots into? Uh, I filled it? I filled his inventory with bone meal and one stack of carrots before I put him in there. Uh, hang on, let me let me check my notes real quick. So he just drops. Yeah, because he doesn't have room for it. I'm looking at flight for in here. So if you give him seven stacks of bone meal and one stack of seeds or potatoes or whatever, then his inventory will be too full to take most of the stuff. And he'll just drop it on the ground. If you give him a, a composter that he can actually put stuff in, then he'll end up composting the extra and right, we so won't get it. Put, Most of these type well, farms take two villagers. One one does the actual farming. The other one, he gets the food thrown to him. And, and you have some sort of intricate hopper minecart system set up to intercept the, the food. Or a gap that he can't actually throw across, but he thinks he can. Um, with this system here, you only need one villager and a lot less space. It's just slower, unless you supplement with bone meal. Gotcha. So once he does his first harvest of the crops that are in there, it's going to trigger a clock over here to just start uh, growing the food rapidly with bone meal. And it'll do that until the bone meal's out, and he'll just harvest as fast as it grows. Uh, much like the wool farm, it trickles down fast enough fast enough for our needs if uh, you just let it run but it's dangerous to go outside oh that's not what I meant to do oh that's where a lot of that went oh yeah because those are the materials that I had handy for uh for building more of those guys. I just never got around to figuring out how wh how I was going to fit them in the space available mm -hmm. to hook them up to the different hopper lines that we got going back here. But we can keep doing that. I'm just going to turn like this into just like a regular garden like what we have outside just kind yeah. of for aesthetic purposes. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I see you. I see you. Come here, friend. Come here, away from the building. No, away from the building. Oh, for serious. There we go, there we go. Away from the building. We're serious. Well, that's why I didn't use those. 
I've been wondering why I haven't been using crossbows. I just don't quite have the, uh... You know, when you need it. Um... Where did my... Where did the rest of the chiseled stone go? Alright, I'll figure that out in a minute. I don't know if you saw on uh, on Twitter, one of the Minecraft devs posted a question about what um, what what are some things that people would like to see changed in Minecraft. Not in the, oh, it would be nice to have, but in the, it is really frustrating type sense. Um, oh, so they, did, they didn't want to, you know, get a whole bunch of um, concrete steps stuff? Uh, I don't, I don't know that it was so much that as they're, they're trying to get a, you know, they've probably got more new block ideas than ever before. And they're looking for things that need fixing, too. Like, I don't know, inventory was one of the big ones that came up. Yeah, because it, it is hard. It's hard to work with the inventory that's available if you're doing anything of even a modest scale. I got to fix that middle part. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I got to fix that. I kind of like the, I mean, the, the shulkers and inner chests help a lot. But yeah. Oh yeah. However, they, they do help a lot in moving stuff from here to there. But if you're in the middle of a project, like right now, you know, let, let's look at my inventory for the wall. I've got some chiseled, polished black stone bricks. I've got some polished black stone bricks, some polished basalt, chiseled stone, stone, cobblestone, andesite, stone stairs, uh, glowstone, plus some uh, tools and ender pearls and food and rockets. And, and yeah, you know, Mr. Mr. Creeper there uh, graciously filled up an extra spot with a couple of gunpowder, which I deeply, deeply appreciate. I appreciate it so much, I'm going to toss it into the random storage in the corner of the world. Yeah, he was just trying to be helpful. Mm-hmm. Sure. But uh, with all that said, oh, and, and the other one that I saw a lot of was uh, the ability to actually rotate blocks or determine which orientation it was going to be in when you placed it down. So you're not sitting there, you know, trying to contort yourself into the weirdest possible way just in order to, uh, you know, place a block facing south or that kind of deal. You know, like, like right now, where I'm trying to put these uh, polished basalt blocks, I want them orientated a certain way, and I got to make sure that I'm facing a given direction in order to do so. Uh, instead, it would be really nice to have some sort of a, uh, like, hold down control and scroll wheel to orient the block as you're placing it kind of deal. Does that make sense? Well, you know, something that um, really impressed me with uh, 
the developers of Divinity Original Sin was the fact that they went in and they looked at the mods that were most downloaded. Yeah. And put that stuff in a game. Yeah, that that's that that that's about so, the yeah. Yeah, I mean to them that that was the <laughs> that's okay, the feature this list. This is what people want, right? Um, and I am with that up to a point because I I've also seen where that can be implemented in a um a detrimental sort of way where it can allow your game to drift uh, a lot further than you might otherwise have intended it to. Does that make sense? Because like you take something like the uh, the create mod. The create mod is wonderful. It, it, it allows you to do amazing things, but it is most definitely not in keeping with vanilla Minecraft. And I would be, I would be reluctant to, to say, okay, that is something that we should definitely, yeah, you know, switch everything in Minecraft to. If that makes sense. Or the creative, the creative mode? Uh, no, not creative. There is a mod called the create mod and it has uh, it has gears and sprockets and all sorts of other stuff along those lines that are really cool and amazing but not keeping with the vanilla ethos and, and it if you know so it is a popular mod it is something that you could see a chunk of the community you know getting behind but I'm not sure that it is something that should be integrated into the game if that makes sense right But, you know, the way I look at it is if that's what a majority of the people want, then all you gotta do is just add in the ability to not have it in your game. You mean like the mod system? Well, what, yeah, what I'm saying is, <laughs> is that, you know, if the majority of the people want the wrench in the game, then you put the wrench in the game. And yeah. If somebody thinks that's too cheesy, then they just don't use it, or they don't. Um, um, and honestly, I, I think with access to the kind of stuff that the developers have access, they could do some of this better than the existing mods, rather than than just cribbing it directly into the game. Uh, the wrench being a perfect case in point. Instead of using a tool to rotate things it would be it would be better if you could um, if you could just rotate it as a natural part of whatever it was you were doing uh, as a natural part of the block placement um, there is a client mod that requires a lot of extra effort to work and, and that's why that's why I think it's kind of one of those things that would be better coming from the game dev where you can actually hold a hotkey and it puts uh, zones on the block that help you with orientation and placement. The actual client side mod will do stuff will even help you with stuff like diagonal block placement. So instead of putting down a temporary block, putting your block down and then removing the temporary block. Uh, like that's the kind of stuff that I think uh, is why the blast chamber here isn't working. Il Manga was using that very mod in his video building it. So when you're trying to do something like these guys here, 
and the act of putting a temporary block will trigger something when you remove that temporary block. Uh, that that makes this kind of stuff really hard. A and this might not be the best example for some people's uh, sensibilities, but y y you get you get what I'm getting at. Where if I if I were to try to use the wrench to rotate that guy, it's going to trigger everything that is looking at him for an update. Uh, and for that matter. Uh, I'm explaining this badly. It made sense in my head, I promise. Yeah, I'm not sure how to finish that because I'm not even sure that I'm making sense. <laughs> Coffee. Coffee. I have some. That, that's partly why I chose for today. Uh, uh, uh more decorative block placing task than uh, anything requiring deep thought with or without Jack Andy I was just about to say that <laughs> you and I are on the same <laughs> wavelength deep thoughts with by Jack, Jack Andy oh <sighs> All right, give me a reason why, uh, you know what? Nope. Never mind, I think I figured it out. Why what? Light. I was going to say, give me a reason why a tilled, watered block won't let me plant. Ah, and I figured yeah, it out. late it's levels. Light. All right, Jabba. <laughs> I know, I know. Mama will kill me if I don't go buy all the mini blocks. Let me go get a let me go get a piece of dry erase that's not covered in notes. Dry erase notebooks are the best. sitting there trying to figure out what you were talking about. Granite. White concrete. Jungle logs. Another quartz ore. Hmm. You want expensive stuff. Light gray concrete. Uh, I should have grabbed a bigger notebook page. Terracotta. Good, sir. Don't go anywhere. If you see the HOA, just, you know, leave them alone. Uh, make room. There we go. That should be enough room. 
Let us go pillage storage. And a wild Arcadius should be on here shortly. Ish. Shortly adjacent. Alright, so we got some emeralds. I need a box next to it. Uh, we're going to need to make some more concrete. Diorite. Check. Granite. Check. White concrete. Jungle logs. Hmm. Do we have any jungle logs? not, I have them in my personal storage. Okay. We do. We're low, but we do. Another quartz ore. Hey, there's an Arcadius. Where? Um, light I, I, gray I saw concrete. Him. I saw him. Um, terracotta. Who's the plain terracotta? There's the plain terracotta. I'm working it today. Mm hmm? What you doing today? Uh, uh, I'm working on just some aesthetic uh, vegetable farms inside the giant water cooler. Okay. I am fetching stuff to buy minis from the Wandering Trader because Reyes will be very mad at me if I don't. Uh, I hope the neighbors didn't run him off. Where you at? Hi, friend. I now have everything the trader has to offer. Will I deposit them in your mailbox, Medic? Uh, sure. Oh. Oh, that was a burning goal. I did, <laughs> I did do a little bit of work inside the, um, the bedrooms. Oh, really? With get with some of the um, small blocks. Nice. There we go. All arranged and pretty in a row. starting to think instead of down elevators we should just uh, have drops into a puddle of water. Uh, I like my elevators. I like the up elevators. 
The down elevators take too long. You know it doesn't take long? Dropping down. That is true. Of course, you could just put slime down at the bottom of them. Uh, but if you do that wrong, you can still die. With the water, you don't have to worry about that. Sorry, just checking for secret doors. Uh, I don't think I'm eating secret doors. Uh, I know I know which group I play D&D with. I check for secret doors. What'd you roll? A three. You did not find any secret doors. <laughs> or anything else for that matter. What happened to all the black dye? What do you mean, what happened to all your black dye? I had a bunch of black dye in here, and now it's all gone. Oh, wait, I think I know where it's at. Yeah, I was getting ready to say, didn't you, uh... Didn't you loan some to Rayest at one point? Hey, did you see the um, different colors of uh, the armor I put on your guys's? Yes, I did. Oh, good. You got you got the head that doesn't have the gray beard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, although you you didn't grab the updated version of your own, which kind of surprises me. Updated. I don't huh? have an updated version. Every time I put one on there, it still gives me the female look. Even uh, even a freshly purchased one? Because I thought we had some in storage that actually has your right face. Last time I, I bought one, it would let me... Uh, or it, it we got two, we got two vendors. We got the old one, and we got the one with... Uh, can't remember which is which. And I th thought there was a bunch of extras in there. <sighs> I know that one's wrong because it's tied to the old name. Which is where the problem comes from. Because somebody had to go change their handle mid-season. Mm-hmm. Is it Tweedledee or Tweedledum? This guy should have the right one. But yeah, that that was the problem. The the heads that were not working are because they were looking for the skin associated with your old handle. Even though I thought I had, had embedded the appropriate information in there such that it wouldn't matter. Oh, you probably locked the armor stands, didn't you? Uh, I think you should still be able to put them on there. Uh, I hear zombies around here. Yeah, they, they won't hurt you. Are, are they part of something, or did you just not light up some of the areas around your, your build? No, there's some areas underneath that aren't lit up. Okay. Uh, what's with the uh, the honey block line? I was showing Reyes how far that bottom of the sphere she wanted to make was. Oh. Was. So I had her stand up at the top while I counted out the bottom of the sphere. <laughs> okay. Oh my. She didn't realize how big she was actually talking. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I kind of figured that. Because that... Is that the diameter or the radius of the sphere she was trying to build? That was the di that was the radius or I'm sorry, the diameter of the lowest part. Oh. So not not even the middle of the sphere. Hmm. Mm -mm. Okay, who's putting the murder shrubs around the uh I was trying to explain to her exactly, um, you know, how much glass she was actually talking about. Yeah. It, it is a, uh, it is a fair bit of glass. I will say that. I'll take my chances with that. Concrete making stuff in here from last time. Really? Yeah. Hmm. So, like all the sand and gravel and gray dye. A slightly bigger hot bar would be kind of nice. Almost forgot. One of the other one of the other suggestions was a um, making a new crafting block like the loom, but for for making rockets. So have an actual like rocket workstation. That that it that is its uh, that is its sole purpose is to make making rockets easier. Rockets aren't easy to make already. Uh, n the the go kind are pretty easy, but if you want something with a with a bang, with a flare, with uh, a little something something extra, no, they're not easy. Especially if you're trying to figure out all the stars and bursts and 
which one's the one that I need if I wanna if I wanna do uh, you know this and that and it doesn't help that most of the rocket recipes are not in the recipe book. I would like to have a block that does the job of a sponge, but better. <laughs> What's wrong with the sponge? What you got against sponges? A sponge doesn't do its job very well. Why? It soaks up stuff. I mean, what, is it that it doesn't soak up enough stuff in a wide enough radius, or? Do you have to, like, I, I messed with it off and on, and then I just quit messing with it because it's so irritating. It's much easier just to use sand. But what, what exactly is the problem that it's not? Is it the trying to remember the the radius of water that it will remove, or because I, I think um, the problem's not the sponge much. so much as it is water mechanics. You, know, you you put you put sponges. I forgot what it was that I was trying to build, and using the sponges to soak up the water to drain the water and it was more work doing that than it was to just fill the thing up with sand uh I will deeply suspect that the problem was not the sponge the problem was the way water mechanic works which is a very double edged sword on the one hand it is really nice that you can do stuff you, you, know, you could put a block, a space, a, a water source, a space, a water source, and it will create a new water source in between the two. Um, the ability for water to generate out as long as spaces follow a certain set of predefined rules is a very wonderful thing. Asterisk. Um, that asterisk being that... Uh, it is not a very wonderful thing when it behaves in some unexpected ways. Because I've found that every time that I've, that I've been frustrated with water, it's not so much the water that's been frustrating, or, or it's not the sponges that have been frustrating, it's the way, the way water spread works which has been a boon and a bane just depending on what project is now what what do I do for the rest of this building because I, I I don't want to keep doing the stone walls uh, I had initially I like had it oh, oh, huh I like the green glass at front yeah the way you have the, the way you have the stone wall for two levels and then the rest of it was green glass I like that okay I keep seeing the cow out of the corner of my eye and thinking it's another pillager patrol. All right. So how much green glass do we have? Probably not enough. 
Uh, I have a lot of the lime green glass, not the dark green glass. Yeah. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the dark green. All right, let me. Uh, uh... Andesite goes there. And nothing else. And I'm gonna need I'm gonna need the chisel stone. The regular stone can go there. The cobble can go there. Because I am going to need a bunch of polished basalt. Fair amount of chiseled stone. And a partridge in a pear tree. And glass. Lots of glass. Hello, Beach Duck. Hello, Beach Duck. Sorry, a little, little, uh, little slow on the chat today. green dye. We don't have a cactus farm anywhere, do we? Oh, we have a very small one by by my mountain house. Are, are, are we talking a farm or a place where cactus grows that you need to go harvest? A place where cactus grows that you need to go harvest. Okay. The last farm I made is no longer working. Yeah, because you did the zero tick. Yep. Quit looking at my bedroom. Some poor puppy's been stuck in there this whole season. No, well, I was in there talking to him uh, last week. <laughs> oh. Oh. No more cows? Uh, no. Somebody didn't like me having them there. No. Oh, somebody, somebody liberated your cow farm? I'm not sure... No, I think they just said something, so I went ahead and liberated on myself, especially uh, since I needed the beef at the time. Okay. Just a little? Yeah, just a little distracted. Ish. Adjacent. Distracted adjacent. Alright, let's, uh, let's gear up for the Emerald Fest. This thing has been working amazing. Actually, I, I dare say these melon pumpkin farms have been the yeoman of the uh, of the entire season. I can't tell you how many times I've used these farms They're to get. definitely going to be one of the first farms that, that I build in the next season. Oh, the melon pumpkin farm? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we need to get villagers early again like we did this time, too. Because that, we, we wouldn't have had half the stuff half as quick if, uh, if it hadn't been for the fact that we were able to find a couple of villagers, like what, in the second or third week? Yeah, that's pretty quick. Give me nah. Don't you nah me. Oh nah you into next week. One stinking melon short. We, uh, that's right, we got a couple of guys that we need to promote to the Great Emerald Farm in the sky. Because they don't trade both pumpkins the and melons. Inside the thing. Huh? Eat farmers inside the cooler. Why not just take them in there? Because uh, those guys are there for a reason. 
they're there for a different project. No, no, you're saying get rid of the farmers because they don't have the right trades. I said, yeah. Why don't we just move them into the cooler since we need farmers in there to farm? Ah, gotcha. Now I'm tracking. Ah, that's a possibility. Although we already got the guys down below, and we already got these guys up here. I'd actually almost rather uh I have a random melon slice. Never mind, I don't wanna know. Like I, I'd almost rather just uh have these guys suffer a very unfortunate workplace accident. And grab a new one than uh than try to move those guys down and the other guys up. Hi guys, one, two, three. You don't have glass, but you do. And this right here is why I have more traits than anybody else. Because somebody said they need a glass. So I go trade with the guys in the melons and pumpkins for uh, for emeralds, and then I come in here and go, Hey, about that glass. About to quote somebody else. Look at your station. Come on, guys. Oof. Who put together the shulker box full of books? I think that was Arcadius. Just trying to figure out if maybe next, maybe next season we could figure out a way to. Uh... It is next season. <laughs> uh, you missed that part of the discussion. You have to rewind or wait until the video is published and watch the beginning again. Yeah, we decided to do it next week. Oh, sweet. Why am I working on anything? Though? No. We haven't figured we that out yet. Because we haven't had the meeting yet to figure out when the next go-around is. <laughs> I'm over here messing with this uh, skeleton farm and I'm like, wait, why am I doing this before ending? And like, Oh, you're building the uh, skelly farm. Eh, why not? Nice. Yeah, I really wish we no found that. No one's ever going to use it with the pig farm sitting up there, so I mean... Why, why wouldn't we use... Oh. Yeah, except the skeleton farm gets you bone meal, which the piglin trading does not. And it gets you regular arrows, which some people like better. The only reason why I switched to the, the spectral arrows is because, well... Piglin Trading Farm gets you a lot of them really cheap. Why do you mean really cheap? They're free. No, they're <laughs> not. They cost you time. You gotta stand there in AFK for all that. That's not free. Uh, AFK is free because that means you're off doing something else. It's not mm. actually. <laughs> mm -mm. You can't. You can't wander too far away from the farm or it'll break. Your avatar can't wander too far from the farm. <laughs> you can go do whatever you want to do. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Oh, goodness. Okay. I was doing... Oh. Oh. So each of those frames is too high. One, two. You know how, like, uh, when you hear something kind of get stuck in your head, you tend to like, say it a lot and don't oh, realize no. you're saying it? For serious? Yeah, seriously. You, you, you know what I'm talking about? Seriously. Yeah, so. 
The other day I was watching you guys play Trine. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Where it's is like this every, going? <laughs> every three seconds I kept hearing, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I'm running around the house just going, ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I I do I do love trying. Uh, although some of the some of the jumps and drops and things are a little uh, a little special, shall we say? Don't you know? Oh yeah. Oh no no no. Help, I'm lost in my redstone. <laughs> Does glass let light through? Um, yes, asterisk. Light level, not... I believe so. I'm like 98% sure that if you put a glass window in the light source will cause problems with the spawner. It's why Impulse had to get rid of the glass window in front of his... Uh, not this season, but last one. corner I probably will over there too just because I mean I'm the only one who's gonna see the inside of this thing actually no because with the windows you might be able to see that from uh, a couple of different angles yeah okay that answers that question well I see somebody went through and put carpet all down up in here where inside the uh the water cooler oh yeah i did that you were having guys spawning uh i i get tired of getting shot at and various and sundry other workplace hazards matter of fact we've got a bunch of blue carpet so if they're uh for whatever spots are missing please go go crazy with the carpet that ooh. That is another thing we need to get done early on is that sheep farm. Getting, uh, having easy access to a ton of wool definitely made life a little easier. But here's the question. Uh, do I need to find a design that's a little more efficient? Do we need, uh, do we need faster wool production? I think we have more wool than we can think about. We do now. We did for a long time. I don't think we we had that problem. It's just like the iron farm. Uh, you know, at first, it was well, plow and iron, but uh, unlike the iron farm, though, the wool farm has a turn off, so it actually shuts itself down. That is one thing that I need to figure out with, uh, the next version of the iron farm is a way to turn it on and off. Uh, that, I was only partially successful in my goal this season of making sure that every farm had either overflow management or an auto shut off. The iron farm has overflow management. But uh, I would I would actually prefer a way to turn it off, 
just in case for whatever reason we need to turn it off anyway. Like, I don't know, you're building a building too close and iron golems keep spawning on your uh, stairwell or something. <laughs> golems keep apples. spawning on my head, they keep spawning. <laughs> Seriously. Are you serious with that? But no, I, I, I would like to make sure that uh, the other farms have uh, overflow protection and uh, preferably shutoffs, but at least overflow protection. I mean, I'd actually like to try to figure out a way to uh, build the farms close enough to storage that... Uh, we, we just, just dump directly into storage. Yeah, that everything just dumped directly into storage. But that would mean that we would definitely need a way to signal that the farm was uh, full. So we don't have our overflow and storage automatically uh, full of every farm that's overproducing. Or overflowing with overflowing with overfull produce kind of deal. if you think it's bad now uh, <laughs> just wait till storage doesn't provide feedback nighty night I think next time I'm also going to find a simpler blast chamber. I'll probably try this tree farm design again and just try to get it done earlier in the season. You know, when it still makes a major difference. As much as I like the massive storm, I think they killed one of our season the the what the mass storage unit we have mm -hmm. but I'll be honest I don't think I've used it but maybe <laughs> well I mean it, it's there for the community stuff so if you're not tossing a bunch of stuff into community storage no you're not going to need it that much if you're not pulling oh, stuff no. out of no, community no, no, no. That's, that's not the case <laughs> I've given a ton to the community because okay. I don't even have my own storage. I live out of my uh, my inner chest. Yeah, I don't get so that. So I've given a lot. I just the thing takes so long. It's easier and quicker for me to just do it myself. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that is that comes from the flip side of wanting multi-item storage. Uh, although. You can see we're a storage complex that had a separate filtration system for every item would get um, excessively excessive and massive. Because we could do that, but you would have to have one slice for every item in the game. Or just resolve that we will sort these items and everything else is going to be in a grab bag of overflow. May the odds ever be in your favor of finding the rest. How is that different than now? Ah, uh, well, now at least one and a half of us know where things are found. <laughs> one and a half? Yeah, I, 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 I've got a 50%-ish rate of guessing where Ray S decided to put stuff <laughs> okay 
But honestly, I, I don't know that it would be any different if anybody else had been in charge of uh, organizing mass, uh, organizing the multi-item storage. Like, are you really telling me that if uh, if I had figured out where everything was going to be, we it would be any easier to figure out where things were? Oh no, I'm not saying that at all, Tom. <laughs> no, you didn't have to I, agree I quite so vigorously. I don't think what he was saying was talking strictly about the the storage um I can well, mostly not all I'm today. saying is the speed at which it functions. That's all I'm really talking about. The 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 self or the sorting. Yeah, the actual sorting of items. There, there's right. not much we can do if we want multi-item storage. Like that, that is the cost you pay for being able to store a variety of different items in the same box. Uh, there is a new design that's been out and about, though, that I might want to give a try next go round to see if it's at least uh, a little more tolerable. I, I noticed uh, a fair number of other other people were using it to uh, to some success. I just I don't know I don't know if it'll be uh, worth it or not, or if it's going to be faster enough. If that makes sense. Faster enough is a phrase. It's what you were just complaining about. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm kind of mad at myself now. I could have had, uh... If I'd built that stupid basalt generator sooner. I'd have had more than enough without having to go out and farm a shulker box full of basalt. I hear you muttering IRL, but you're not talking into your mic. Oh, no, no. I was talking to myself. I had okay. a bucket issue. A bucket issue? Okay. I'll never know what a bucket issue is, apparently. That's okay. Don't worry about it. It involves a, a bucket, an ender pearl, and some suffocation damage. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yep. Like I said, don't worry about it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> suffocation seems like something to worry about. It's all good now. I'm not suffocating now, so it's, it's okay. I can't tell you how many times I've come around a corner, saw this llama inside the water cooler, oh. and thought it was a skeleton getting ready to shoot me. Okay, a skeleton I don't get, but it, it still surprises me from time to time. Like, are we ever going to relocate that llama or... Uh... No, just out of the corner of my eye, I see this moving white thing. And I think immediately that it's a skeleton. Yeah, no, like, mistaking the cow for a pillager patrol, I get, because the coloration, you know, it's a blob of the right colors just out of the corner. But a llama? Oh, that skeleton, that llama's white. Mm. Skeleton is white. Until he yerks at you. Hmm? And then it should be pretty clear.
You know, I just realized that might be a problem. Uh, I ain't fixing it. I ain't fixing it. Not at this point. This is going to have to be a problem. Yeah, yep. Yep. That's nah, just, yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame there's problems like that. All sorts of problems in the world. And that's just one of them. Too bad they're not fixable. I mean, it's a shame, really. Should be there. Oh, that goes up. There we go. One, two. There we go. Alright, there we go. One more lap down. <sighs> yeah, that could work. to figure out what to do when I get to the other side where the blocks come around. I really should do something with these guys to make them stick out of the wall just a little bit more. Something to add a little more dimension to the build. It's still one giant block. One giant blocky block. I'll solve that problem later. Of course, that's what I've been saying about the blast chamber for longer than I care to mention. Yeah, why put off today? What can wait until next season? Right? That's the saying. No? You don't think that's the saying? I'm pretty sure it is. If I look hard enough on the internet, I can find it as a quote somewhere. You can find anything on the internet. If you look hard enough on the internet, I'm sure you can find it on a mug. I mean... <laughs> I mean, it's legit. <laughs> I mean, you can find mugs with I'm the favorite child on it, so...
just about, well, spend enough and you can get them to engrave just about anything you want on it too. Keep looking at this, uh, at this. <laughs> This is one coffee mug I keep looking at every time it goes on sale. I'm like, eh, eh, nah. Okay. Oh, it's a... Uh, it's... Uh, <laughs> you're, you're, you're cutting out. That's good. That's good, because uh, you have a family-friendly rating to keep, so I'm going to be quiet. Ah, uh, okay. out of the polished basalt already. layer. Yeah, don't tell Rast, but not everything's uh, all symmetrically mathed out. Some of these sections are a little bit longer, some of them are a little bit shorter. He's hovering just out of frame. Because <laughs> I mentioned that something could maybe possibly be slightly asymmetrical. Maybe. Keep waiting for a squid to spawn under there or something. How does someone ever asked? Asymmetrical. 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 But with coffee? What? No, I need to go f top off the coffee. I've had this mug sitting here too long. Job of very dutifully following. Thank you. that would give a whole new meaning to one pig's fly.
Uh, I have been tempted to do something uh, like that, where I go retexture some random things in the uh, server texture pack. Try not to mess with that. I try very, very hard not to mess with that. I don't want that to be a habit. Although I thought about putting Corallus eyes on the uh, Totem of Undying. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, that's your face too when you need it. <laughs> Somebody's on the server's face. What? What just, what just stole focus? Come on. I can't leave stuff AFK. Because some random something can't play nice. Where's Beach Duck? Uh, Beach Duck was in chat. Have to give her a minute. So, are you guys finally finishing this thing, or are we just gonna box it off and pretend it works? Uh, the part that I am boxing off works. The part that is unboxed does not work. The problem is that you need both parts to actually be useful. Oh. Uh, you, you missed all the grousing about the ability to place blocks, you know, in a particular direction and things that so no young should add. So on the, the form you question you place thing. Huh? Post what on where? said that one of the devs had asked questions. Yeah, on Twitter. Asking questions on Dear Twitter Dev. is a rather, uh, you know, dubious proposition on the best of days, but... Dear Dev, fix things. Sincerely, Anon. Yeah, lot, lots of people have said fix things. Some of them were even helpful suggestions. Having been on the other side of those, Dear Dev, here is my laundry list of things that I deeply wish you could do, even though I have no idea what it takes to do it. Um, yeah, but I, the difference is you know what it takes. Yeah, I try to be kind to the people about stuff like that. I love that flower. Which one? The big one. The Super Mario flower. Ah. Oh, all our shrubberies went away. Wait, what? The the bush the prickly death bushes. The prickly death bushes? Huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I still need to do that uh sweet berry farm too. It's on the to do list. I mean, now that we got the foxes, of course, we got those a while back, so I don't know why I'm saying now that we got the foxes. What does the fox say? Uh, very annoying things, apparently. Proof that if you just put a techno beat to it, you can sell just about anything. That's not untrue. Why is there a random tower in the sky? Where? On top of the temple church thing. Huh? 
there's a stick ladder thing that I'm about to fly through. Eee. Oh, nope. <laughs> oh. Uh, you mean the center line for the building that's been there since I started working on the roof? Oh, it wasn't cool. always this tall. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Yeah, yes, it was. Just see her have to use a respawn. Uh, Flying into a uh, tower of scaffolding? Yes. Yes, you no. did. No. Uh, I'm sorry. I can roll the tape back and... Uh... <laughs> Actually, what what is the appropriate term for that now? Because there is no tape rolling. <laughs> oh, oh I, I, I feel depressed that I just... Okay. Yep. Yep. Enjoy that. Let it sink in. Soak in it. No. I mean, I, I probably should have had that same reaction to the whole Jack Handy thing earlier because how long ago was that skit? 90... Minute. Late nineties. Need to go fix my wings. <laughs> Honey, will you, you come help me in the bad place? <laughs> what exactly is it that you're trying to do in the bad place? Nothing. Reminds me, Not I still need anything. to watch The Good Place. I heard that was a really good show. The ending was a little something, but... Angry piggies are angry. But wear something gold. They like gold. This ladder takes forever to climb. Why are you climbing the ladder? Oh, take, please, take some fire resistance potions with you. If you haven't already. I didn't. Why didn't you? A, we have way more of those than we know what to do with. And B, um, you're going into the nether. Why wouldn't you? Because this is another thing that we're going to put in my inventory that, let's be honest, I'm going to forget I have when I actually need it. That's why you put it on your hotbar. I don't have any more room on there. Don't 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 think the irony of putting a fire resistance potion on, my, on your hotbar has escaped me either. Where'd those... Oh. They have some... Let's see. Oh, no, I do have some potions of fire resistance. I have a box that says, raise, nay, nay, drink. Someone gave this to me and put it in my inventory. That's not mine. <laughs> you say that like it's a bad thing. No, just more of a weird thing. I guess we could just do it like that. Katie is a medic. Mm -hmm. I need helps. Please. You talking to me or Arcadius? I Both. believe the answer to that question is yes. Mm hmm. Uh, okay, give me, give me a second. I'm trying to finish this up real quick. Why are you really quiet? <laughs> oh, because my volume wasn't up. There we go. How that, about that? We 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 just we you you missed that earlier. We had the same discussion. What? About oh. his mic being quiet. 
his mic being quiet or your volume not being on the way mine wasn't? Uh, no, his mic being quiet. Oh. <laughs> his mic is caught. <laughs> I love jokes. Um, I can't remember where I put my path. Where you put your path? Have, yeah. you, have you lost I your lost way? <laughs> I have literally not figuratively. <laughs> well, maybe both, but... Oh, there it is. <laughs> I found oh. it. So you found your way. I did. Do we make it the journey hands fat ha happy by asking if you'll show me the way? Was it with your cur? Although, I, I, I am not a huge journey fan. I'm not a small journey fan. I admire the music musicianship in Neil Schoen, but uh, Journey's just not my thing. To the great disappointment oh. of a mutual friend, but... Um... Um? I... I... You know this path that we've had in the Nether forever? Mm-hmm. Literally immediately under... Like, I was just clearing it a little bit to you know not have to duck under one portion and like the next block up was an ancient debris oh <laughs> nice. i was not expecting that surprise ancient debris is a surprise no one expects ancient debris in the nether well i mean given it's a uh, rate Actually, I forgot to check and see if uh, that was one of the things people complained about. The uh, drop rate isn't the right word. Uh, the spawn rate for ancient debris. I know there was a lot of people rightly complaining about the uh, the drop rate for tridents. I haven't had a problem with that. Oh! <laughs> Shots fired! I mean, I'm just saying, I, you know, I, I've had three of them. I gave two more away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but... Rate of uh, tridents is the only thing that's pretty high for... Microphones. How do they work? I don't know. I'm going to learn one day, though. You, well, for starters, we turn them on. <laughs> and we talk into them. You mean, like... Don't, don't... Why are you doing that? Do you want to make the audio <laughs> engineer twitch? This is how you make the audio engineer twitch. Not the only way, but... Well, no. It's a decent beginning. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking into... <laughs> it's fine. Oh, it's <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. You get jokes. Of course, I'll finally get back up here and it's time to go sleep again. I, actually, do, do you mind sleeping for me? Who are you? You're playing the pronoun game. <laughs> Any of you. Like, for reals? Where are you? I'm in the nether. Yes. No. That's why I thought you, you were trolling me, because <laughs> I'm in the nether. I would never do such a thing. You would... No one on the server. No one on the server would ever do such a thing. Nope. 
we're all honorable Minecrafters. Oh, I would totally do it. Okay, but could you sleep? Because I can't. I, I just did. Oh. Yeah, I was about to say, somebody just... Uh, where did some of my path go? Uh, ask the nether creeper? Actually, there, there's no such thing as a nether creeper. Although, ghasts are about as close as you're going to get to it. Ooh, that would be mean, wouldn't it? Add creepers to the nether. Now random stuff is shutting off on me. But I just want to, I just want a laid-back Minecraft day. Why must you do this to me, computer? Congratulations! Oh, a bad thing just happened. Uh, no, it sounds like a bad thing just got averted. No. No? I was chasing after the per- the- And now there's another one, but I fell down a hole. Well, that's why you have rockets, right? I don't think I can get out of this one with a rocket. That's why you have Ender I was, pearls, wait right? I was waiting to hear the, uh, I don't put rockets on my inventory. Well, I mean, I kind of expected that one, too. You, you, you're not wrong for that. I don't and then I accidentally I hit have... a piggy. You accidentally oh. hit a piggy? Which yeah, piggy? Yeah, and they're all kind of upset about it. Oh, and you're wanting that me to kind come of piggy. out and help you? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Good luck with that one. May the odds ever be in your favor. Uh, do I have more blackstone up here? You do have uh, an ample supply of totems on you, right? Yeah. Okay. So you don't remember fire resist potions, but you do remember totems? Oh, nope. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> uh, are you going to take your location to your grave? You need help. Yes, you appear to be in grave trouble. And our portal only took me to... I'm sorry, you are gravely mistaken. Um, um... The portal only took me to the nether. Which portal and where were you expecting I it to I spawned at the, the original place. Oh! Uh, you didn't hit the respawn anchor? I know you don't sleep, so it wouldn't take you to a bed. No, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's where that portal goes, is over to the nether. We still have the box of boats. We should. You don't have backup gear? Oh yeah, we never did make a path from uh, this this side over to the other one. Hmm. Gold ore. There should be some backup elytras there. I think I put some backup elytras and rockets there. Yeah, I gotta remember which way's home. Um, 
to the east. Did you not grab a... Uh... Oh. Sorry, south, not east. I too. Huh? Where are you going? I don't know. There's a thing over here that looks interesting. Yes, it's the Catan board that we've never played, even though... Arcadius worked very hard in setting it up, and we said we were going to play, except it took forever for all players to join. Matter of fact, we should right now make a, like, put down on our schedule, next week, we're going to start the episode here, and we're going to play. Yes? Okay. I'm okay with that. Cool. Okay. So we'll all be ready to like start at six thirty here, and uh, and play. To the best of my ability. Well, just just remember, I, I know we're playing Catan, and so that means uh, we, we need to keep everything uh, family friendly. Give me your wool. Okay. <laughs> I, I still can't Hopefully get next week. I still I still can't get over the game reviewer who said that Catan is a very cooperative game that, that doesn't have much in the way of uh, aggressive elements or I forget how they phrased it but basically they, they said that Catan's one of those games that's really nice for having a, a low confrontation value between players and I'm like uh, who have you been playing Catan yeah they don't lately? play with our group uh, like, I mean, th this is just one step short of full contact monopoly. Full contact monopoly. <laughs> Can medic or Arcadius or somebody please escort me to my dead body? <laughs> that was <went> weird. <laughs> <laughs> Could could you please escort me to my grave? Literally, not right, figuratively. Right, right. Hold on, hold on. Hold uh, on. All right. Where are you at? I I would ask you to sing some uh, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff because that would be appropriate in getting an escort to your grave. But I I also like the copyright status of my channel, so that would be better. But that's neither here nor there. Okay. Where, There's a kitty outside. Okay, there are That's actual right. cats in the game, the so I, I get that they sound like a kitty because. And those are called cats. They're not kitties. They're cats. These are kitties. Would you prefer that I call them angry kitties? Uh, I don't know that that's really going to change anything. I mean, you're the one who gets zombie Cleo when she says, uh, I'm going to get some hurdy arrows. Mm -hmm. Sorry, hurdy arrows. I, I got to get the right, uh, I, I can't get the right British dialect on that one. I, I don't know where she's from, but it's not, it's not anything that I can manage to. She's from the north, I'm guessing. What makes you say that? Just the... Um... They're the opposite of us. The more southern you are, the more posh the accent. Ah. Uh. I guess you don't see too many, uh... Posh... Southerners, uh... In movies and whatnot. Well, posh American Southerners. I mean, if we're talking about stereotypes, but still. Oh, 
no, 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 Now I want some actual Where'd marshmallow. Upstairs. But I think I have to go downstairs first. Ooh! Nope, nope, nope. Downstairs. Okay. This is gonna be bad. Everything here wants me dead. Well, yes. It's the nether. Everything in the nether is trying to eat your face. Marshmallow right side. No, that is not a marshmallow. Marshmallows are tasty and fluffy and happy. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I've had some what? really cheap marshmallows that uh, make me angry enough to spit fireballs. It depends on who you're talking to, because I don't like marshmallows. Why? I just what did the marshmallows have. do to you? Actually, the only thing I've ever had marshmallows on that I enjoyed was hot chocolate. Well, I mean, you've never had s'mores. <laughs> I got him. Watch out! Watch out, piggy! Got him. But now I just made myself a target for piggies, so... Let's make this quick. So your escort might yep. need an escort? Where are you going? Okay. To my body. <laughs> There's some new Of all the things that, that have really been uttered on a live stream, where are you going? To my body is not one of the ones <laughs> I expected to... I mean... I don't know how to get my stuff! Uh, right click on it. I am missing some of my stuff. Uh, Did it fall down lava? I don't know yet. Oh, wait. Nope, some of it I'm standing on. Yeah, I was going to say, if your inventory was full, then you need to get the stuff that you're wearing back on in order to free up the rest of the inventory space. Which is kind of my perpetual state, but... An overstuffed inventory? Yeah. Yeah, weren't we just talking about inventory management being one of those things? Although, I say that. I, I deeply suspect that there are those people that no matter what Mo Yang did, they will have a perpetually full inventory of all sorts of... Well, do you know any of them personally? I do. <clears throat> I am going to exercise my Fifth Amendment right. Okay, I think that's all my stuff. Did you recover everything? This all right, time? thank you. Oh, that was bad. Oh, run away time! Run away time! <laughs> That was not fun. This is why I don't go out here. Oh. The piggies killed me more times than I had totems. That is a lot. That you had totems or that you had totems Thank active? You. Well, I had them in my bar so that if I died... They would supposedly drop and I'd pick them up. Huh? I had them in my in my bar. In my hot bar. Yeah, but you have to have it in your hand. It doesn't do you any good in the hot oh. bar unless it's in your hand. I thought I'd pick it up in my hand if I died. No. And I either way I couldn't push it fast enough. There was so much death. Is somebody it actually around this area while this is 
or is, no, no, never mind. It's in uh, it's in hold. Never mind. Ooh, Meta got some blocks. Mm hmm. What blocks? Baby blocks. Baby oh. blocks. Do, 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 baby. No. And who was talking about copyright stuff? <laughs> Just saying. Oh, no. that's That song's been long before copyright. I don't care what. This. this well, it'll probably end up being like the happy birthday situation all over again. Where Warner keeps uh, incorrectly asserting copyright on songs it doesn't own the rights to, but. Uh, Hang on, guys. They own the rights to any song that they want to claim. <laughs> mm. They have rights to anything that they can uh, outlaw you about. That's almost the same thing. Hey, it sound, it sounds like a certain hospital I know. <laughs> I am not going to go there. Oh, you got injured at work and want to claim workman's comp? We got 15 lawyers that says nay. And, yeah. Not that that's ever happened to me. Um. Um. I see what you were not showing me last time. What? Who is not showing what? Arcadius. What? Arcadius. What? I love you. Don't mind me. Just over here trading for emeralds. Staying way out of that over there. Yeah, I kind of figured Yeah, Nick that... <laughs> disappeared in the bottom of his <laughs> water cooler. <laughs> Oh, where are you, Arcadius? Nah, you're good. You're good for another round of trading. Now you do. Are you still in your mission place? Oh, I'm here in the. Step four. <laughs> he doesn't always live dangerously, but when he does... <laughs> not expecting to need this much green glass. I feel like I got a bunch of green glass somewhere, though. That's the problem. I told you I have a bunch of green glass. Now, I, I, I thought... I thought we had more... elsewhere, too. Like, left over from some project. I used it. You used it? Oh, mm -hmm. that's right. You recolored it all red. Mm -hmm. For your project. Mm-hmm. Seriously, guys, what's up with the banker's hours? I have emeralds. Trade with me? No. Fine. It's fine. Yeah. 
your sheep go? Where would sheep go? Oh, there they are. Why is there... Uh -huh. Hmm? Why is there not a complete sentence? I couldn't find our backup sheep supply. Oh. Then I saw that someone buried our backup sheep supply. Yeah. But I don't understand why there's a pig dude with our backup sheep supply. Uh, because He's one of the pigs them. got hit by lightning. Because we that built in the plains, we got... Buried them. Hmm? That was before I buried them. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think... why I buried them. Next time, we need to not build our sheep farm over in the plains, and then we won't have to worry about them getting struck by lightning as much. Since he has a sword, can I give him um, armor? Um, I'm not sure about those guys. I don't think he'll actually wear them. Yeah, I, I don't think those guys do. Mm. You seem highly disappointed by this. Surprisingly disappointed by this. Leather. Hmm. I was gonna give him colored leather. Oh no. What what color leather armor were you gonna give the zombie pigman? I don't know. And why I am I worried by this? For I was some gonna reason? play with it. Hey, did you go in the bedrooms that I made and uh see the oh, oh, this, this, stuff this, that this, I added? The bedrooms in my in my fortress that I made for you guys. Did you go in there and see the uh, stuff I added to them? No, I haven't. Um, which downy spout is that? Okay, it's done. Which is done? This one. The skeleton thing. Ooh. Rudimentary. Nice. You're probably gonna want to redo the storage, but it's done. Nice. Which way to go? Over by the chorus fruit farm. Is there a door Ooh. or entrance near there? Or is it still the guess the hole? No, no. There's, <laughs> there's an emerald in my room. Super cute. Yeah, I tried to try to add stuff in there that each one of you is known for using a lot of. Oh, I did go through a lot of redstone torches. Okay, it's only been running for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Over two and a half stacks of bone and almost stacks of arrows, not counting armor and bows. Nice. Well, I mean, we have lit up a fair amount of the area around here as a part of trying to get the other mob farms to work well. It, it's functioning. Where is it? It's functioning. Uh, between the chorus fruit farm and the bowery fletchery fletchery uh why does just... one down spout oh. not have a spout oh. I don't like that <laughs> what you, you, you don't like the trust fall no no. But it's faster. Only up to here. And you can see just the sliver there. That's what you hit with your sword. Yeah, it produces. <laughs> nice. Now, are you... Are you, I'm assuming you have a Fortune 3 sword. Looting 3? Yeah, 
You know what I meant. No, I didn't. That's why I had to look at my sword and check. Oh. <laughs> Polluting three sword. Hmm. When that happen? I want to also eat something. Yeah. Yeah, I was getting ready to mention that one, too. Ray has to name any room. That's what it's named. What if we put a, like, steamy block at the end? Uh, what? Like a magma cube. What do you mean? Wouldn't that hurt them? Uh, it would potentially kill them before you did, and you wouldn't get as much loot. And you wouldn't get any XP. Ah. Oh. Uh. Be a good way to make it into a auto farm instead of a... Yeah. Uh, the other thing that would be kind of... I need to... One of these days. There's supposed to be a way to... Set it up so that way we could actually have a pair of dogs per person. And then all you got to do is stand there and the dogs will kill the skeletons for you. But it has to be your dogs killing the skeletons to get XP. What'd you think of the, uh... That's one of the... Uh... What'd you think of the... Wall decoration? I saw the Reyes Nene. No, no, no. I meant the... The block pallet formation there. I don't understand the stripey one. It continues all the way back. You can crouch and look at it. Just don't look them in the eyes. Why? <laughs> They'll shoot you. <laughs> funny swirly block you're standing on is the actual activation block for the spot. Pretty active even when I'm standing over here. Uh, that's more people from the last time or left over from the last time. Oh. Like, it they, ta they it takes them a minute quick. to clear out. It's like a movie when it gets done. It takes a little while for the Mobs to move on. Speaking of, did you tell Medic about the movie we watched? He's already <laughs> seen it. Is he? Yeah, we talked about this on stream months ago. But uh, it just, I didn't know. They, they finally saw Mythica. The first movie in the oh. series. Oh. <laughs> he said, oh. <laughs> Ogre hit her and she... Fell the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I think I've seen one, two, and three. I think as far as I've gotten. He fell the wrong direction. I feel some of the actors get better the over the course of the series. Want to go watch um, the rest of them. Huh? I feel kind of like a masochist. I want to go watch the rest of them now. <laughs> oh well, I mean. I figured we would watch the rest of them. Just, you know, space it out a little bit. Because you can only take so much. I mean, it's the best production Danger. Kickstarter could buy. Well, <laughs> supposedly, because of the Matt Mercer effect and everybody and their mother all of a sudden coming out, you know, coming out of the closet on D&D. &D, yeah, we've been playing D&D &D for years. Oh, you know, every yeah. major movie star and stuff that um, they are actually producing a D&D &D movie with a bunch of stars. Like a really high budget movie. Yeah, there, there's been talk about that for a long time and uh, I'll, I'll believe that when I hear them talking about it being out on Cord Killers. <laughs> like 
Not the rumor of it. Not the theory of it. Not so-and-so is working on it. But, like, Tom says, you know, for my wife's work, we had to watch. Because his wife works for Rotten Tomatoes. Hey, did anyone feed the puppy? No. Uh, you, you talking about the puppy that is sadly sighing behind Arcadius' chair? Yeah. That puppy has not been fed to the best of my knowledge. I'm gonna go do that. Yeah, that probably should happen. Although, honestly, I'm probably going to... I did, I just realized that it was 9 o'clock. Or just about... I kind of got into the groove. Play some blocks and build some Alright, peace out, guys. Oh, Have later. fun. Oh, somebody sounds very excited. I think Jeppa knows he's about to get fed. Or he All just right. heard his name. Two aesthetic farms are done. Carrots and wheat. Nice. Ooh, nap time. Nap time, nap time. Let me finish this last section of wall, and then I will call it a night. Actually, I'll probably keep working on this while the replay is uploaded to YouTube. But Although that's what happened with the, uh, <laughs> the basalt farm. I signed off, and I started working on it a little bit more, and I started working on it a little bit more, and then I tried again a little bit more the next day, and realized that that, that, that wasn't going to go as planned. felt a little laggy. I don't think Steam's downloading anything, at least not on my computer. Arcadius has already downloaded Trine 2 for this Friday. I think Rayest already had Trine 2 installed for Friday. I've got Trine 2 installed for Friday. I'm not. Yeah, sadly, there, there's only three allowable in trying. You know, because trying. I I don't think I've actually. I I think this will be the. F I know Rayest and Arcadius have played some of trying to already. This will be my first go at it. This is this is uh, this will be the engine that they used to make the enchanted edition of trying that we just finished the playthrough of way earlier than I expected. Um, hmm. Salt pillars across, across the top. I'll glass in a fair number of parts. 
Now I have to either carpet or something the uh, the top part. I'll probably put buttons down or string. I think string blocks blocks mob spawning. Now I gotta double check that. Doesn't line up, does it? Now Reyes is gonna gloat about stuff not lining up. I can't have that. That'd be nice. A way to mob proof stuff without having to do it. Without without having to to block it with blocks like carpet and stuff. Without having to worry about lighting. Like I, I kinda wish there was a beacon effect that blocked mob spawns. Cause then you could hide a beacon in a couple of places and, and then have a uh, relatively safe space. Does that make sense? Or, you know, just a specific tile that designates a place your house and then you can't... Mobs can't spawn within a certain amount of radius of it. Yeah, yeah. A any Anything along those lines. Just, uh, you know, some... some Cause like, I, so I've got this roof. It, it's a nice roof. Well, it's not a nice roof. It's a plain roof. But you, you get the point. I've got this roof that I'm now going to have to add walls or something to because that's the only way to mob proof it. There's no there's no other way to to make it so mobs don't spawn on the roof. Carpet. Yeah. Yeah, there's always carpet. Uh, or buttons, or, or buttons. half slabs, or string. I think string. That, that's one that I gotta keep double checking. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm never gonna hear the end of how n this stuff doesn't line up, am I? Oh well. Oh well. Not worrying about it. I was going to wrap up as soon as I was done that last ledge, too, but here I am, play some blocks. <laughs> you, you, you ever get in that kind of a groove where you... you I, I kind of forgot that I was... No, I didn't forget that I was streaming, but you know what I mean. Yeah, you just get going and you don't realize that... that uh, or you don't think about the fact that you have an audience. You, you're not thinking about much. You just, you know, play some blocks. You, you get into a little little rhythm. You get in a nice little groove. Mm-hmm. All right. One last glass panel. Then I'll call it a night. Sign off. Do all the, all the... Check out the YouTube. Like and subscribe. Thumbs up. Comment. Something. Anything. Please. Oh, never mind. I'm out of glass. That's uh, that's as far as I'm going. All right. Uh, let me go find. Nope. I'm not gonna fly with a crossbow in my hand. Oh. <laughs> Is that your new temporary house? What? No, I just wanted okay. to find. I just wanted to find a safe place to uh, to AFK. And apparently, somebody else found it a safe place to AFK as well, because <laughs> it is a safe place to AFK. All right, thank you for joining along. Uh, casual day, nothing big, nothing planned. No, 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 large, earth-shattering, whatever. Um, hope you had fun. Every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, we all stream. And next week, we're going to go play uh, the Settlers of Catan game that Arcadius put together. And Fridays, the game's revisited. 
at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, Reyes and Arcadius are going to join me for Trying 2, and we start that this coming Friday. Uh, the If you want to see the Trying 1 episodes or uh, Coffee Craft live stream replays, those are all up on my YouTube channel. There's a link somewhere down below. Uh, and, yeah, I guess that's it. Let me, uh, actually, is there... Hmm. There's actually a bunch of people I'd like to read. I'm gonna go with Beast Lord anyway. Because he's a good guy. And you should definitely follow him if you haven't already. Although, looking at the view count, I'm pretty sure I know that everybody here is already following him. But for anybody watching later, Beast Lord J is playing Monster Hunter Rise, and he is an awesome dude. So I'm gonna go to the title screen, I'm going to hit start raid and away we go F